In other news, Watertown City Hall is the home of city government. These days, an area outside is also home to the homeless. We dropped in on them last night. Almost bedtime in front of Watertown City Hall. So this is what we lay down at night. This is our blanket of blankets. There's like a whole bunch of rolled up blankets in here. We just put it down that way we aren't laying on the, uh, the pavement. Dylan Sabluski and his fiance are among a handful of homeless who've camped out in front of City Hall for weeks. The 29-year-old Watertown native describes a life that's been a struggle. Family, he says, that turned his back on him and a social services system willing to help, but under conditions he cannot accept. We were there for a good four hours filling out paperwork just for them to say that they wanted to break us up and put us in a motel that's filled with drugs and stuff like that. That would be worse than living on the pavement here? Yes. I don't want to get into drugs. <laughs> I don't want to be, oh, do you want to do this? Or do you want, I don't want to be peer pressured into doing drugs. Why did you come to this spot? Uh, there's cameras everywhere. There's three uh, cameras right here on the side of the building. There's uh, a camera across the way right there. And who's watching them? I don't know. Well, you assume, <laughs> I, I, you I hope somebody you is. You assume somebody is? Yeah. So you think they're a deterrent? Yeah. Dylan says he has worked in retail and would like to get a job, but he says that's hard to do when you can't take a shower. He was in college online, but now that's on hold. It's very depressing. It's uh, physically and mentally daunting. Um, I, we have migraines and headaches all day long because we're struggling just to eat. We're, all we're eating is snacks, and snacks, snacks aren't really filling. So I'm trying to be optimistic uh, for both of us because I, uh, today she was very depressed because of the news that we got from uh, the DSS workers saying that they won't help us. There are others staying here as well with varying stories and the ability to tell them. I'm, act I'm from North Platte, Nebraska. Okay. What do you, how'd you end up here? Um, some poor life choices. Okay. That I don't really want to mention. All right. How, so. I'm 21 and I'm having a hard time finding a job. This man says he is from Egypt and the Pacific Northwest. His explanation for ending up in Watertown uh, is unclear. So this is bad for you tonight? No, that's not bad. That's that's just, um, that's not a bad. Okay. So where are you sleeping tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm sleeping there, but it's not bad. It's not home. Now, the homeless encampment is literally right below the office of city manager Eric Wagoner. He told 7 News he's very concerned about the situation, that he has asked county social services to check on the group periodically. He said the city is drafting a law to help deal with the city's homelessness problem. And, quote, we're looking at what we can do.